Okay, fingerboard haul time. Starting with the trucks. First up, we got the Black River trucks. These are the Ramon or Ramon trucks, Ramon Angelo's signature edition Black River trucks. And as you can see, even Black River struggled to spell Black River. Won more than 20 years of experience, some of the best fingerboarders and a couple of German engineers come together. What do you get? Black River trucks are designed, produced and assembled by hand in Germany. Just some good looking trucks all around. Looking forward to getting these ones set up. I've already got some other Black Rivers on different setups and uh, yeah, they always go down nice. Good, good trucks, good trucks. Next up we got the Caramels. I've not tried these yet, but these are from Spain. Um, also handmade, I believe. Really nice looking trucks. And these guys actually do them in like a, a, a wide variety of widths. Like if you want these trucks in 100 millimeter, you can probably get them. They also sell um, handboard trucks and that sort of stuff. So yeah, really worth checking out. And here we've got the blister trucks. Pretty cool packaging. Rugrats looking logo there. Yeah. These ones are made in America. As you can see, Oregon, USA. And the cool thing about these, and the reason I ordered two of them, is the kingpin can be set up however you want. So you can have it regular or inverted. I'm going to be trying it both ways. So I got the unpolished and the polished version of these. And yeah, they seem pretty sturdy. They look great. Really nice quality stuff. Good work. And last up, skull finger boards. Just some cheap trucks, probably China trucks, but you know, they look good and they're going on a cheaper setup. So I didn't want to spend much on these. And now for the wheels. These are the Maple Wheels Ultra 2.0 Party Pack. I'll grab these because, yeah, I mean, look at them. Multicolored, funky looking wheels. Can't complain. I'm yet to actually try any of the Maples, so uh, probably going to set those up on something next. And here we got the Chems Maples Collab. Funky color wheels. Super solid. Yeah, r really nice colorway on these. Purple, yellow, swirl. Really looking forward to trying out these maple wheels. Here we got some cheaper wheels from Skull. And uh, I grabbed these ones because, well, look at them. They're just nice color. They were a good price. They're going to go on another cheaper setup. So I don't know what these are like yet. I guess I'll find out once I get them set up. But be sure to subscribe and I guess you'll see in a future video. But they are damn nice looking wheels though. I'll give them that. Here we got some pyros. I've not tried these yet. Got a tan ball shape because these look, to me at least, the most like classic skateboard wheels in terms of shape and color. So I'm gonna try and get like a nice little classic cruiser style setup going with these. But yeah, they look cool. Fun little sticker in there too. These ones, these have been. I, I, I've been looking for these for a while. So the dual durometer ones, these are going to be interesting. Different, different core to the outside sort of thing. And uh, yeah, flat face, big, big name in the uh, fingerboarding world, especially over in America. So cool to get some of their bits here in the UK. And here we go. Cartwheels, budget jewels. Cheap wheels. Got sent these for free from Axe Ramps in London, I think. 
and uh, yeah, no idea what they're going to be like, but they look kind of fun. I'm going to put them on something. The jewel bearings are probably going to be pretty fun to try too. But yeah, the maple wheels. My girlfriend Rebecca's already got some on her hoot deck. So these are the shark wheels, which are kind of a funky shape, a little bit wobbly. These are the Kraken trucks, by the way. So they're not exactly the best fit, but as you can see here, still kind of nice smooth roll. So yeah, they do, do work pretty well. And uh, notable mention, the ill pills. So I've got these on an Arbea deck that I grabbed from Axe Ramps. Needs regripping. But yeah, these wheels are just insane. The bearings are incredible. A nice little setup. Okay, time for some decks. First up, we got the maple leaf, white and black here. Really nice, really good construction quality on these things. Like, I've been skating one for a while now, they're just incredible. Had to get a few of them. That's the black on white, I guess, and this is the white on black. These come with uh, pretty cool holographic stickers and a sheet of grip. Next up, we got this funky thing, which is the squirrel nut shroom egg thing. I don't know, but look at it, it's awesome. Here we got an antidote fingerboard. And made in Belgium and uh, yeah another shroom theme really nice colors on this one super funky comes with a nice little sticker sheet in the back as well so yeah really happy to have this one that's a super cool deck at the bottom here we got some uh, experimental stuff so sinister things where I get some of my obstacles from and you should definitely check out over on Etsy and Instagram um, yeah they, they sent me this little prototype thing they also sent me a cut one and I do believe these are made of roach card so yeah they're kind of cool might set one of those up at some point but I gotta drill them got this um, grip skin axe ramps 3d printed deck and uh, yeah, that's, I've not tried it yet, but it's going to be cool to set up. Definitely going to be interesting. It's got a nice texture to it and it's much lighter than some of the wooden decks. And uh, here we go. This is my pride and joy right now. I love this thing. The design on this is phenomenal. But this is from Sensukt or Sen Zen Zenzukt. Or, so I don't know how you pronounce it, but they're over in Germany as well, I think. I think maybe and uh, yeah look at it a little smiley face engraved in there it's actually made up of their logo sort of as the pattern it's real nice kind of reminds me of um, sort of the sonic downhill mountain board thing so yeah that one's a cool one to have and uh, yeah you know I've got to grab the drugs deck so I think this was a red wolf red wolf fingerboards over in America and I'd seen a few of these pop up on TikTok and stuff, so yeah. As soon as Frank over at Curious Boards told me he had one of these, I just, yeah, yeah I had to get that one. I don't even know if I'm going to set this one up. It might live in that plastic forever. But yeah, that's a cool little one. And here's my main setup at the minute. So here's another maple leaf, the purple, of the purple obsidian trucks and wheels. And as you can see, like this little bee shreds, so that's super fun. But I definitely got to set up something new soon. Now one of the new decks I've been thinking about setting up is this, and that's the December deck. And uh, yeah, this one's real nice. I haven't even taken it out of this little packaging yet, but 
I've got to get around to doing it because, well, look at it. It's phenomenal, really. Like, look at that color. The construction on these is supposed to be insane as well. I think they've got a carbon fiber middle ply to them. And the guys that made this seriously put in a lot of effort, you can check out exactly how much over on their YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description, I guess. But yeah, that one is incredible and I'm super, super, super happy to have this. Thought I'd finish up the video by just going through some of the hardware I've sort of got sent, so. Here's some slick screw stuff, some lock nuts. Cool dude, based in London. Making lots of uh, replacement hardware. So these screws are for when your base plates are stripped and you need replacement stuff. So, at slick screws on Instagram, he's got you sorted. really nice bushings here as well like they genuinely look like old school candy to me so they're, they're going to be real nice on one of the more colorful setups and some more plain bushings just sort of o-ring bushings but always useful to have these are some funky uh lightning bolts from Axe Ramps and from Skull here we got some funky just straight deck rails and some more deck rails I've not actually tried fingerboards with deck rails yet so I gotta get around to that at some point as well this is what a packet of the uh, Black River first aid looks like some bushings, pivot cups, and the little metal washers. Some level up bushings there. Washers included. Not tried those yet, but I've heard good things. And the same goes for these, the soft softs. So yeah, always good to have a good variety of spare hardware and bushings and things like that. Anyway, yeah, cheers for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the future videos.